Let's go to David, Celtic fan. Hi, Dave. How are we doing, boys? We're great. How are you? You on the way to the game? I'm just going to pick my boy up and then I'm going, yes. OK. Uh, first of all, Benke, what are you smoking about Henderson and McGregor, man? <laughs> are you serious? Wait, so McGregor, you... McGregor would keep up him in a phone box. He'd he do what? We'd keep the ball off him in a phone box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually doubt that, Dave. I, I, I couldn't believe you said that there. You're a football man. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen... Hell, forget about that for a second. Um, we've got the best midfield in Britain at the moment, in Billy Vilma. And hold on, what? Hold on, hold on. We, ha- hold we on. haven't. Say that again. Say that sentence again, David. Billy Vilma, right now, right at this minute, the way he's playing is the best midfielder, central midfielder in Britain. No, I'll take, De- I'll take Declan Rice over him all day, every day. You don't believe that, David, though, do you? Declan Rice looks like a centre-half from the big Is he, is he better no, than Jude Bellingham? Not. Is he better than Jude Bellingham? Uh, uh, for what he does, yes. No, he's... What, he does. what do you mean for what he does? Which is what? Play football. No, no, just Billy Gilmore's a box to box, right? Billy Gilmore. Come on. Just the ball. I promise you. Watch the boy, right? Chelsea. He was unlucky because Potter signed him and then Potter moved to Chelsea. Had Potter not done that, he would have stayed at Chelsea. So, that, David, you're, David, you're a Celtic fan, right? Yes. You got the chance to sign one of them tomorrow, Drew Bellingham or Billy Gilmore. Who are you taking? Well, he's a wee Rangers man, isn't he? But I'd still take. Uh, the fact that you're taking Elder. this long to answer that is, is bonkers. Oh, Over Drew Bellingham right now. For what he would do, yes. <laughs> why, why don't you think Real Madrid went for Billy Gilmore instead? Because because of because of the profile. If Billy Gilmore was English, it, you would have him way up there, Phil Foden level. Phil Foden is. Well, Steve uh, McManaman. Steve McManaman was Scottish, and he went to Real Madrid. <laughs> I'm joking, Dave. <laughs> it's not because of the profile, though, David. Anyway, I'm not talking about it. It's because of the profile. If Billy Gilmore was English, come on. If Billy Gilmore what? was English, we'll kick on a guard. Well, listen, I like Billy Gilmore. I think he's an excellent player, excellent player. But you can't compare him to Jude Bellingham. I'm sorry, Dave. I was talking about in Britain. I know he's playing for the Real Madrid. I'm talking about between the English Premiership and Scotland. Are you, is, you're talking about plying their trade on these shores, right? Yes, of course. Okay. That's what I mean. Okay. He's an excellent player, but you said Declan Rice. Declan I'll take Rice, Declan yeah, over. Course. What will the score be tonight anyway, Dave, before we go round and round? Sorry, do you think he keeps the ball better than Billy Gilmore? Training. Well, I think he takes yeah. more I think he takes more risk than Billy Gilmore. Mm, so have you watched Brighton? Have you watched him for Brighton? I watched him for Brighton, yeah. I saw the West Ham game and West Ham went down there and completely run through their midfield like they weren't there. Oh, that was one, listen, that was a one-off game. Come on. You, you asked him what you just said. Have I watched him? I'll just give you an example. Well, but you can just bring up a bad game. I'll bring up a bad game. My job in Henderson. It's what about 15 games? No, I said, I, said, I said Declan. We're talking about Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Sorry, Declan Rice has been bumped high top. You t- t- for him, to be a hundred million pound player is laughable. He's but he, he, has, he has his start. Thanks, Dave. He's, his start for Arsenal has been brilliant. And he's been getting better and better yeah. and better. And course... you know, I, like, I like Billy Gilmore, but you're not, you're, not, yeah. you're not taking him over Drew Bellingham. No, no. Uh, let's speak to Shane, Scottish fan. Hello, Shane. How you doing, guys? How was... We're great. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Good, good. I just thought I'd uh, call up and uh, tell you how it ends tonight. Okay. Like, well, so, so we, set, we set the scene, right? Listen. Okay. So it's, it's, it's 1-0. It's a, it's a tight game. You know, the atmosphere is banging. Southgate goes, I'm going to freshen things up a little bit. So he brings on Harry Maguire. He loses a little man last minute. Scotty, big Scotty McTominay comes in, marauding in the box, top bends, yes please, back down to England. Two one, two one the final score. You mean, you mean Scott you, you mean Scott Torrey? Yeah, yeah, McTominay. <laughs> McTorrey. Hey, he's been he's got a six and six and five. Mate, he has oh, been, he has been oh, phenomenal. High score. He has been good. I mean, that last... Uh, listen, hey, we've all got to kind of gang up together, but that last caller, you, you know, you can't... Uh, I'm, I'm not taking... Gilmore, he's a good player, but you can't have him over belly up. I'll, I'll give you that. But what do you guys think the score will be tonight? I, I, I'll be honest with you. I am very nervous about the game. I think I don't think Gareth Southgate picks the right side. I think England are, are sometimes too negative and too worried about the opposition. And you're flying out. I think you've won all of your qualifiers so far. So you you yeah. are you are the team that's in so much form. We saw England at the weekend against Ukraine. We were absolutely awful. So I I'm I'm quite nervous as to how we'll get on tonight. It, it wouldn't surprise me if we lost. Put it like that. 
Is that you getting the excuses then ready for the, the way? No, listen, I, I, th- I think England will win 2 1. <laughs> I think it'll be tight, but I think England will win 2 1. I, I obviously hope we win, Shane, but the, the, yeah. it, there's not many England Scotland games I go into feeling like this, if I'm honest. That's good. That's what we want. That's what we want. It makes a change in real life, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. I'm only joking. We'll smash you, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, hey, hey, if that happens tonight and McTominay blasts it in top. 2-1, top bags, I will call you back tomorrow. What about, straight away. What, what about Shane, if you get beat? We you going to call yet. us back? Yeah. I, I, if, uh, hey, I'll, I will still call you back tomorrow if you get beat. All right, love that. Love okay. it. If it's a draw, we'll both stay away from work. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> what a star you are. Thanks for coming on, Shane. Cheers. Thanks, man. Uh, listen, I genuinely mean what I said there about how, how nervous I am going into this game compared to any other England-Scotland game. Mm. We'll have won nine out of the last 12 games. Yeah, and the last two have been a draw, right? They were nil, yeah. I haven't got it down. Nil, nil, two, two. If I can remember, yeah, Scotland nil, played two. really well in the Euros against England mm. at Wembley. Kept the ball possession, kept possession really well. Yeah. It'd be interesting. It's live on TalkSport, of course. Do not forget that the boys on the Sports Bar will be very busy tonight from 10pm taking your calls. When we come out, we'll have some fun with the best of TalkSport. TalkSport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.